Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. And I just wanted to do a quick note on 10V Maximit K390 uh, kind of steel performance. Um, I'm guessing this will match other non-stainless high carbide, vanadium carbide steels. But um, I'm still, 10V is my favorite steel currently. I'm still trying to decide if Maximit is something that I enjoy and if K390 on these Secchi Delicas is matching this 10V performance. But I just kind of wanted to note on what to expect with all three of these steels. It seems to be the case with Maximit too. So I think Maximit is moving up in my like definitely do like scale. But um, number one is these are all very hard. So probably 64-ish, probably also 64 to 65, and then probably 67 to 69 Rockwell on the Maximit. So for one, you're gonna be sharpening these. You're gonna want a coarse diamond abrasive. This is a six inch by two inch, right? Two, yep. DMT uh, diamond plate. It's got, I don't know if you can see, read that coarse and fine sides. Coarse is about 320, fine is like 700 or so. And this easily takes care of these guys. My preferred sharpening is coarse, fine, and then either like three micron or four micron CBN or like one micron diamond on wood. Perfect edge for these guys. And uh, you really need that coarse plate though. Otherwise, you're just not gonna fully apex these because they just take a long time to move at that high hardness and all that carbide volume. So that's one note in the sharpening. And the way that these tend to come up is a lot of people will talk about the aggression that these come up with and they 100% do, but it's not like I thought it would be. It's just like, if you've ever raised a burr on a knife and refined it a little bit, and then you feel it, and that burr, like you, if you're, especially if you're not experienced, you'd be like, wow, I can't believe how aggressive this edge feels, but it's actually just the burr. I was almost expecting that, but like more refined. And from my experience so far with that progression, is that's not really the case. It actually comes up more like a normal refined edge with bite. It's just, I guess, extra bitey, but it feels refined. It feels refined like even if you're sharpening a carbon steel, but it just holds on to that super sweet skin grabby edge. Like, I don't know if this is something you can see. Probably not, but it's got it right now. Where it just kind of grabs into my skin, but it's very fine still edge so that's kind of unexpected that's how they all three of these come up the burr reduces very easily um, on uh, all of these steels but let's talk about 10v and k390 the burr reduces really well but i have found is it's a little bit tricky to get rid of that like tiny little micro burr at the very end like almost undetectable through eyesight or by feel is you'll have a it's these tough steels have this tiny little micro burr that you really need to work to make sure you get rid of that guy whereas maximate being at its hardness and carbide volume and just makeup does not like to hold on to a burr at all and that's one thing i really like about it is it can screw you over if you make too big of a burr at a low grit at the on the course because uh, it'll like break off and you'll just get this nasty ragged edge. But if you manage the size of your burr and the pressure on the stone, then uh, Maximit just doesn't like to hold on to a burr and it's pretty easy to deburr actually. So I really like that about Maximit. And then the last note I was going to bring up is the way that these steels break down. So they're very hard and they do hold on to like a finer edge for a long time compared to something like S30V because these are just harder than S30V is run ever. Um, 
So that's enjoyable, but they still do break down. And the way they break down is it feels like the hard steel that surrounds the vanadium carbides, the actual steel matrix, seems to kind of retreat up into the steel and leave the carbide sticking out as serrations. So like, it kind of feels weird because like this Delica, for example, I've been carrying for like a week and a half. Okay, it, it will catch my fingernail, but not like it used to. I've stropped this twice now on one micron and also, oh, no, just one micron, yeah. Twice on one micron on wood on a paint stirrer. And it just, it doesn't bite into my fingernail like it used to. So I can just get it to skate across like that. And that's because the apex width has increased overall. So it's not as like perfectly sharp, but the way that they strop is interesting because it's, especially with these uh, CBN and diamond abrasives, is it almost seems to like, you've got this carbide tooth that still sticks out. And when you strop, it almost like refines this carbide into a pointier carbide. So that after stropping, you still get an actually surprisingly refined feeling edge like I feel right now on this knife. And, uh, and, it, and it cuts, it cuts really good still through paper and whatnot. So a stropped working edge on these is pretty nice. And uh, the, basically what I was, the quote of it, of everything that I've, I've been noticing is it's finer. It feels finer than I thought it would. I thought it would feel more toothy aggressive, but yeah, these strop back pretty dang nice. Um, especially if you stay on top of it and don't let that apex width get too large, you know, like every few days, then they strop back nice. They feel fine, like, you know, refined type of fine, but they cut really good still. They don't just like kind of like round over like carbon steels will. And uh, it's enjoyable. It is. It really is. So... 10V is great. I really enjoy it. This K390 seems to be right there with this 10V right now. And I think I do really like Maximit. I wish the geometry of this knife was better, but whatever. Maybe I'll have to pick up a, a Sage, a Sage in a Maximit. But yeah, that's just kind of some notes about these steels that I just kind of wanted to share. And yeah, that's all I got. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.